This is a landmark. It's the first time we've had the complete DNA instruction book of a cancer cell. Scientists did it by analyzing the cells of a woman with leukemia. We found 10 changes, 10 mutations in her tumor genome that very well may be related to her disease. This may revolutionize the most advanced type of cancer treatments called targeted therapies. Right now, targeted therapy goes after cancer cells, but not normal cells. For example, the drug Herceptin works by selectively attacking a receptor found on the surface of breast cancer cells. In the patient with leukemia, scientists went past the surface of the cell all the way to the center, or nucleus, and examined the DNA, the blueprint for the entire body. By comparing DNA from the patient's cancerous cells with DNA from her own normal skin, the researchers found changes present in the genes of her leukemia, but not in the genes of her normal cells. What's new here is that that entire encyclopedia of the cancer cell, which is 400 Encyclopedia Britannica's all lined up end to end, has actually been read out in its entirety for the first time for a particular leukemia. Ultimate hope is that you'd look at somebody's DNA and you'd say, I know exactly how to treat you based on what I found in your genes and why you're different than the patient that I saw with the same disease an hour ago. The hope of designing personalized medicine for patients is what drove researchers to study the inner workings of cells. Cancer is a disease of the DNA, and we need to understand what goes wrong at the level of the DNA before we can really get good at understanding, diagnosing, and better treating the disease. But it will result in a revolution in medicine that I believe will only be matched by the discovery of antibiotics. This is still a research tool, and cancer patients shouldn't expect immediate treatments, but doctors hope it will have real-life applications within the decade. Katie? It's very, very exciting stuff. John LaPook, thanks, John.